What is Leverett? Is that really a question you can answer? Leverett's a town, right next to Amherst. It's like a little sliver in time. Oh, it's out there. It's really out there, you know. It's, it's, for some people, it's more of like a, more in the spiritual realm of things. Leverett is a town with a diverse population of 2,000 and a rich mixture of teachers, students, farmers, lumbermen, gardeners, artists, doctors, and lawyers. It was founded in 1774 when it petitioned to separate itself from Sunderland. It was named after John Leverett, a leader who stood against religious persecution. In the early 1900s, various mills began sprouting along the rivers in Leverett. While Leverett remained in secrecy for decades, recently, more attention has been brought to the town, and various stereotypes have formed. One time I went out, I just kept going, and it just got like... Was there a sign for it shoots? Just, it got like... Was it Shootsbury? No, it got more and more dirt roads, and then there was like there barely was even a road, and I'm pretty sure it was Leverett. Not that many people live there. I don't think there are any people. Like 30 actually, honestly like 30. Nah, four, six, eight, four, ten, ten max. There's like 2,000 people in Leverett, approximately. What do you think the people to tree ratio is? There's no people. So it's undefined. It's like all woods. There's a lot more trees. I think there are more trees than people ever. No. Everywhere? In the world? You think there's more trees than people in the world? Yeah. I, I'd say so. I hear Thank that you. instead of living in houses, they just live in trees. They're probably engaged in some kind of magical rituals that we can't even dare to contemplate. Summoning gods and stuff. Forest gods. Forest gods and nymphs. Like normal people. And then levy. Is levy really an appropriate word? I don't know. It's politically correct. I mean, is it politically correct? Some of these people, they're like, they eat healthy. They eat a lot of brownies. And after eating those brownies, they just eat way more for some reason. Kale. They eat a lot of kale. Yeah, greens. Random greens. You don't really know what they're about. You have to drive an hour to Hadley. That's the nearest Whole Foods. You ever been to Whole Foods? <laughs> Everything there is whole wheat and organic. Forest. This man whipped out a Tupperware of seeds. This man was just snacking. Is there a different la I think a language a different in Leverett? Is that why they're all friends with each other? They don't talk to us? Yeah. It's like a pretty tight friend group. We have a crew. Leverett. Yeah. Crew. C R U with the dogs. A lot of people think that everyone in Leverett smokes weed. We are woodland creatures who live in the forest with all dirt roads. Everybody either thinks we're like a bunch of hillbillies or a bunch of elitist white snobs. Um, that we're all farmers, rednecks, hippies. And yeah, we don't have any power or water or electricity. Internet or, or cell phone service. A lot of people think we don't have refrigerators. Like how do you oh, keep your food cold? Like I dig a hole in the yard. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It was an easy thing to make fun of. Right, exactly. It was like something that they could like latch on to and be like, oh maybe this can bring yeah. them down. Because yeah, they were like, whoa. This will be funny. Godly, you know, like yeah. It doesn't really phase me. I mean sometimes I get annoyed. It's we're strong and mostly just kind of surprising. I have been told that I don't count as a levy because one, I don't seem like a hillbilly, uh, two, I don't play ultimate, three, I never had long hair. Every other male in my grade who lives or has lived in Leverett has had hair down here at least at one point. He had the world's best mullet. One or another, they all had long hair and they all play ultimate and that's essentially their only defining characteristics. There's definitely a big ultimate culture. A lot of people associate ultimate with Amherst, and Amherst is like supposed to be really good, which they are, and they have all these pickup games. But Leverett is a small town with I don't know how many high school age kids are there. Tuesday at five. It was a pickup pick game. Leverett pickup game every and Tuesday at five. Like, There's pickup games for young kids and adults all ages. It's really fun. We have enough percentage of people interested in Ultimate that we can have our own pickup games. And I just find that kind of cool that this town of like 2,000 people total can have its own pickup. The co-op is the one store in Leverett that exists. It's actually called the Village Co-op. The co-op is way overpriced. It's expensive. It's kind of like the only shop in Leverett that you can go to like buy food. So it's the cheapest in Leverett. It's nestled right in like the most sacred part of Leverett's core. It's like the middle of Leverett. I don't know if it's even geographically the middle of Leverett. Peace Pagoda is very beautiful. I recently went back there and it was exactly the same and it was great. There's that one pond uh, with like the two islands in the middle and a, ro a rock path leading out to it. The Peace Pagoda is situated on top of a hill in Leverett. The Naponza Miyoji Order founded the temple in 1985. The colorful prayer flags, 
are believed to speak silent prayers with the breath of nature. The relics at the Peace Pagoda illustrate the tranquility of the Buddha. It stands as a monument for people of all faiths and backgrounds to come together in peace. You just go out there and you're completely alone to the world. It's great. We do have a strong community of people. Really the best part about Leverett is like everybody in our class who lives in Leverett like I'm friends with. Still, yeah. Still, like, and like we were always like we have been friends since we met each other and we're still friends. Everyone there is a genuinely nice person and they live in Leverett because they like to not interact with that many people. Everyone shares that in common. It's really great because you can kind of develop like a close-knit circle of people.